Okay guys, hello, it's Sunday. I picked up the camera earlier, but I couldn't record anything because I was um, using the, what is it called? The little disc, the memory card to upload footage for my weekly vlog or to, you know, download the footage from last week for my weekly vlog. Long story short, it's the end of the night. I'm talking about the end of the night. It's going on seven o'clock. And I've just finished editing and just waiting for it to upload. Late day, basically we woke up super early because we were so used to the freaking dog waking us up at like 5.30 that we woke up by ourselves at 5.30 and um, we ate, went back to sleep around like 6.37 and then we woke back up again really late at like 10 a.m. Hubby was rushing out because he had an appointment. Um, mind you, it's our anniversary today. Um, seven years married today. So, yeah, it's a big feat. We were going to go see the play Love Jones tonight, but I'm just like, I don't even feel like it, honestly. And it sounds horrible because, like, I always say I don't feel like we were supposed to go out last night um, when he got out of the shop to go to his friend's um, event or something. I just didn't feel like it. You know how it's just like... I don't know. It's about to be my birthday, December the 1st, so I'm going through a moment where I like to reflect and get organized so I can like smash it and kill the game. And I can't do everything while doing that. I have to do one or the other. Get my brain organized and get myself organized or go out and indulge in, you know, life. I'm trying to balance it. Um, but tomorrow we're definitely gonna go out celebrating. So but I just wanted to check in with you guys it's Sunday. And it's the six, and um, yeah, about to run out to get dinner once Hubby gets done at the shop. Okay, guys, we're out for our um, seven-year anniversary slash our Monday day off, um, and we're gonna go get my eyebrows done. I should have went yesterday, but I didn't. So. something to eat we're gonna go to the mall so I wanted to bring y'all along so we'll go back to the house to get y'all
I'm just gonna finish it all, guys. So, bagging it up. But it's a so we're back home. Hubby took us shopping. Um, we got some stuff from H and M, and yeah, it's on the couch. I don't know if you can see it. And I have on my new sweatshirt. Um, but yeah, we were too tired to really do a lot more shopping. I needed to get some shoes, and I still don't have any shoes. But I'm gonna be doing a haul video. And you'll get to see what I picked up from H&M and my boots that I got and some other shoes that I got. But I wanted some like sneakers to work out in and chill in. Um, but I'm going to try to find those tomorrow. So if you want to see hubby's stuff, I don't know, he might do a video. I don't know. So. Alright guys, end of the night for Monday. Great anniversary day. Even though it was technically yesterday, but Pookie had to work, so it was a great day. Alright. The finished product. What is the title? Okay. What is it again? <laughs> Okay. So, I hit something on the camera when I was turning it on and hopefully it's corrected itself. Long story short, it is Tuesday and it is election day and we were supposed to get up early to go vote but Pookie had an appointment early so since this is Tuesday which is light days, appointments only, we're gonna go after he gets off because um, polling closes at 8 p.m. So right now I went and got a Starbucks coffee. Even though it's hot as hell in California today, it's above average hot and it feels like it. Um, but yeah, I got a salted caramel mocha and this is actually good and I don't try new stuff. Usually I just get the mocha, tall mocha or whatever. Um, but that was good. That was really good. It was what I needed to start my day because I'm exercising again today. I try to exercise at least um, four to five days out of the week. So yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to record any footage of me exercising just because I don't feel like it. I just want to get it over with. I really don't even feel like exercising today. That's why I had to get a coffee. So me trying to prep the camera and all that, I don't feel like it. I just want to get the exercising over with jump in the shower and run out the door because I have a lot of work to do today. Um, a lot of phone calls to make, just a lot to do. Hey guys, this is my outfit of the day. Van shoes, black um, dress, just like it's a, like a t-shirt material, I want to say a jersey material. Um, and I like this fanny pack, but I'm very self-conscious wearing out when I'm not wearing like workout clothes or at least um, leggings, like workout leggings. Um, but I like it. Y'all let me know if y'all like my fanny pack. Okay, this is my full complete outfit of the day because I'm taking this jean jacket with me because I know it's going to be colder in the buildings I have to go in or a little bit nippy. So yeah, I'm um, taking this jean jacket with me just to make sure that I'm not cold because it's a little bit hotter than average for a fall day in LA today. It's in the 80s slash high 80s. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, I'm home. It is late. Um, I had a lot to do today as I said. Um, yeah. So after taking care of a lot of errands I had to do and um, work I had to do, I got my eyebrows done. You see how this one has that arch? Anyway, I got my eyebrows done, and yeah. You know when you spend money, and it's like, you didn't even spend that much, but you still feel like I shouldn't have because you're on a serious budget? Yeah, that's how I feel. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling a little. Does anybody else feel like that? Comment below if you ever feel like weird after spending money and you know you're on a budget, and it's just like, weird. <laughs> Okay guys, it's Tuesday night. 
I voted my stickers. I'm making my sticker because that's like the big thing. I even posted it on Instagram. I should just insert a dang on picture. I voted. Okay, I voted. Um, this hasn't been one of my happiest elections to vote in, but I voted. Happy election day. Let's see how we feel tomorrow. Hey guys, so they're doing the election results, results and um, supposedly Trump is in the lead. Honestly, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I don't give a fuck, but let me just not. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of people don't recognize like, there's a power that no one can take away from you. Free will. Like, that's God-given. Okay. Hey, okay. hello and happy Thursday, you guys. Um, yesterday, I didn't vlog at all, mainly because my camera was acting so stupid and I had to film some my haul. Finally, I had to film my haul. Um, not, I think my camera was feeling like how the rest of the world felt yesterday, kind of just disappointed um, with the election results. For me and my husband, we already said we're kind of like a sovereign people we do what we want I don't give a crap who's in we go by moral law we go by God's law um and man's law we pick and choose what works for us because you know man's law was made up by another man meaning flesh and blood someone who at the end of the day could have made up a law that suits them that doesn't suit anybody else so you have to take everything with a grain of salt and common sense um, and have your have a moral compass of some sort have uh, recognize that there is a higher power um, and You know the universe works things out the way they're supposed to be so I mean I'm not gonna lie. I was disappointed too um, But I I didn't think that half America wouldn't vote and therefore Trump will be in office, but honestly, I think this is America calling the Republicans and Trump's bluff. Um, try it. Like, I think this is honestly American citizens saying, try me. Um, and we'll show you just how far you'll get. So, I'm, I, for me, it's like, it's not so much I'm happy, um, but I'm prepared for anything. Like I said, honestly, history repeats itself and countries go through revolutions every now and again because Sometimes the same systems that have been going on for decades, centuries, they no longer work. Your environment has changed, your society has changed. Um, so you have to just adjust um, and change. And change is hard for a lot of people and scary for a lot of people. Um, for me, I like change. Um, it gives me a rush of adrenaline. and. It, of course it gets, I always say, use this um, metaphor, I guess. Um, when you're cleaning, in the beginning it's gonna look way messier. You have to get, you have to destroy things, make it like messier before you can really gut it and make it clean. It's gonna look worse before it looks better. Ready for, um, drastic change in a positive way not in the stupid way that Trump was talking about most of the promises he made these rednecks he can't even keep so I don't even want to get started on it um, I think he's even shocked that he got in I mean look at his face the majority of the time on camera he's shocked um, I think most people that are in his party are shocked the reporters, the, the commentators, Republican commentators um, that are reporters on MSNBC and Fox and all that, they were shocked um, just from their comments of like, well, I mean, yeah, he said he's going to but he's not. Well, then why would y'all allow him to run on that platform of hatred and negativity and bigotry? But y'all don't feel he's going to act on it, which majority of it he can't. He don't have the resources, first of all. Um, so... America's calling his bluff. Um, I think America has, it's, it's almost like, what's that saying? You cut off your nose to spite your face. I feel like that's what America did and there's nothing wrong with it. I feel like at the end of the day, if that's what needs to be done, that's what needs to be done. Sometimes it's a harsh reality of um, people are willing to go through it in order to get better. And I'm, I'm, 
I mean, I think everyone's looking forward to see what is going to happen. But off of that, because I can talk for days about that, um, I am now editing. Well, I just went and got my wheatgrass, my smoothie, um, and I'm probably going to do my exercises now before I start editing. It's been a busy day slash week. It's Friday, y'all. Um, and I haven't been vlogging that much this week, mainly because I've been super busy with work. Like, being an entrepreneur in a creative space um, in the creative field is very time consuming, very, um, like my brain is always going, basically. Also, while trying to like be a wife and you know, since my husband has taken on majority of the financial things, I'm doing all the housework and all that other stuff and keeping a home is hard. So, um, basically, um, if you haven't checked out my blog, I have a new blog post up about how much I love California. Um, I'm trying to get schedule out stuff like format stuff so that it's like weekly I'm doing at least two blog posts or one to two blog posts a week one to two video postings a week um, but just scheduling all that out formatting all that out kind of like storyboarding all that out is what is time consuming because once you put like the bare bones onto stuff then you actually have to be like okay thought process it out so that it's actually good work it's not just like oh, I'm just putting this out to say I put something out I don't do that um, I just won't put anything out unless it's good which is hard because I'm a perfectionist and I actually have to wash my hair because me and hubby are taking headshots on Monday um, my husband actually has to finish his portfolio his modeling portfolio because um, he was scouted by a scout um, and he needs to get the headshots. That's the last part that he needs done. Me, I am getting more involved with my acting, um, not just background work, but trying to audition and taking acting classes and stuff like that. So, taking some new headshots on Monday. So, I need to wash my hair so it can be fresh. And I'm kind of procrastinating on that just because that's exhausting and like I said today I woke up and did a blog post which took time to research and find links to associate with it and then so it has been crazy busy I have my workout stuff on because I'm like do I want to work out before I get in the shower really I don't but I've been doing so great with my working out lately I'm just like I want to keep the pace you know other than that, um, I'll try to bring y'all along some more this Friday because I know yesterday I think I might have picked up the camera once. Honestly.
guys, it's Saturday. Um, as you saw, last night I was up stupid late editing this whole video. It's not this complicated. For some reason, I don't know what's going on. I think I might have had a bout of um, food poisoning or something this day from the frozen coffee drink that I had. And I still don't feel all the way well right now. Um, this is weird. But I got it done at 4 a.m. This is when I finished. I got up at 2 a.m. because I was laying there. I couldn't sleep. My stomach hurt. There was nothing really. I mean, there was some panic. Hey, my dinner last night that I cooked this was really good. But... I was laying there at 2 a.m. and I just thought I got to sleep. Like, this thing is in my brain. Like, I have to finish editing this. So, I don't have to edit it today. But now I'm putting together the thumbnail, which takes a while because I always forget to take a picture for the thumbnail. So, I have to, like, end up cropping out photos and videos to use for the thumbnail. This week has been rough. But we made a whole month of vlogging last week with my um, fourth weekly vlog. And it's like getting over that hump to the second month of vlogging. I've been kicking my, kicking my booty. Because I'm actually doing well on other stuff too. Other work stuff too. So I'm trying to find the balance. Hey guys, so I'm about to take hubby lunch. Um, Still look a little rough. As you can see, I didn't wash my hair yesterday because, like I said, I had a lot of work to do. But I'm washing it when I get back and doing a hot oil treatment, and then I'm washing it. Um, for lunch, it's leftovers. I made um, it's like a baked ziti pasta with chicken alfredo sauce. I put spinach on the side because I didn't have enough broccoli to put into the pasta, but there's a little bit of broccoli in there too. So that's his lunch. I'm about to take that to him. I went and got Jamba Juice. Um, so, long story short, now that all that is done, my video is posted, I did some promotion of it, I'm going to finally wash my hair because I have a photo shoot, a headshot photo shoot on Monday. And I'm going to give myself a hot oil treatment. Um, so, I'm kind of happy about that, excited to try this out because I wanted to start using black castor oil. So, with that being said, let's finish out this Saturday strong, guys. Mm -hmm.